Hello, hello, welcome to Shading Why. I'm Marilyn and today we have an auction bag. Um, this looks interesting. It is all signed and um, I'm excited to see this one. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms and we bring everything to you first. Um, very simple. You see something you like, you send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. We um, ask that you send us a timestamp along with a description on each item that you're requesting. We'll send you a invoice with PayPal. You don't have to have a um, account. You can uh, pay for it as a guest. Uh, shipping is five dollars in the United States under pound. Anything over pound is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. If you look below in the description area, click the more. All this is in writing. Very simple. I'm going to push these over to the side and let's just jump in and see what we find. Um, and it says they're all signed. And the first piece I pick up, I don't see a signature. <laughs> um, okay, let me look closer. This is gorgeous. I am not seeing a name on this one. And I have to say, a lot of people, there, there is on our um, list a Juliana. I automatically do not go to Juliana with um, rhinestone pieces. So many people do. There are so many clues about um, puddling, um, open bag, closed bag. Um, and I just really have to say, I don't, um, really see this one. I mean, the one thing about Juliana is that their pin bags are part of the piece. It's not put on. Also, um, you'll find their prong settings are generally a little different than other people. I think this is the piece that they are identifying as a Juliana. Am I saying this is 100% not? No, I don't know Juliana well enough. There are some excellent um, uh, Facebook focus groups um, that deal with that. I just don't focus in on one brand that much. Um, this might be, it might not be. I don't know. I'm not identifying it as that. I'm identifying this as Aurora Borealis, um, the topaz colored um, rhinestones with, um, there is some discoloration on a couple of these. So on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $20. And, um, but it is a fabulous, it is three inches by... Um, I'm going to say an inch and three fourths. Um, I think it's supposed to be a leaf. Here's the stem. Um, but just a beautiful, it does need to have a deep cleaning. But on this one, I'm going to say $20. Beautiful. Let's see. We have a matching set here that says Germany. Um, so when you see, um, just Germany. It generally is before the mid 40s. These are beautiful. Um, they do have an iridescent look to them and also a faceted look. Um, I would say they have, um, like this is rhinestones that have Aurora Borealis. So that tells us that it is probably late 50s, early 60s. I could be wrong on the date, um, but whereas these are more of an iridescent um, look to them. They are clip-ons. Um, let me see if they're brass. Yeah, they are brass. And on these, I'm gonna say, let's just do $10 on those. Um, oh, these are pretty. These are, let me get that one out. These are signed. These are milk glass and rhinestone. I did get a new um, loop 
not that it's really helping me that much all right these say germany also those are beautiful and these are screwbacks those are really really pretty as i said they are milk glass and on these i'm gonna say let's do it's a little bit of glue it looks like on this one i'm gonna say let's do 12 dollars on these all right these are beautiful these Again, not sign. <laughs> um, I think they misunderstood what the term signed means. Or I'm just really not good at finding the signature. Sometimes the signature is just on one, but I don't see the signature on either one of these. And these are beautiful. Look at that. Is it got a little fuzz? Okay, these are stunning. These are blue and red, but they have the um, the mixed rhinestones. That way it is red and blue in some of them and just not in the others. Isn't that stunning? They are prong set. These are definitely quality pieces. Um, They're clip-ons. They are an inch and a quarter by an inch. Oh, these are stunning. I'm gonna say $12. So look at those. I'm not sure if it's coming through, how stunning these are. These would have been beautiful for 4th of July, Labor Day, um, but they're still gorgeous, even with like a blue dress. <laughs> um, okay, here. I definitely see a signature. All right, this one is signed Marbeau. I think that's how you say it. It's um, Marcel Boucher's um, company. It's M-A-R-B-O-U-X. Beautiful piece. This is, um, his things were generally gold plated. Um, this is swirls, isn't that gorgeous? With the little pave rhinestones. Nothing missing on this. Um, his pieces were generally from the 30s um, to the 50s. Uh, stunning. And I'm going to do, let's do 20 on that one. Beautiful. Um, as I said, no missing rhinestones. Let's go ahead and be sure to give a size. So it's 1 and 7 eighths by one and a half. Okay. This is a Karis, that is K-A-R-R-I-S. Really pretty, looks like they're glass. This could be quartz. Um, definitely these are not um, sterling. I do think they are not magnetic. But if I had to guess, they generally aren't. Well, this one might be. It doesn't say sterling. No, and it disappeared. So it's just silver tone. Let me get that up. It is a size eight and a half. It is a beautiful ring um, with a pink center, silver tone, um, clear pink and purple um, rhinestones. Um, definitely beautiful. So I'm gonna just, I mean, gorgeous, um, like butterfly on the side, really nice um, work. And I'm gonna say $10 for that one. I believe there's another one. Yep, right here. This is also a Karis. It is also not sterling. 
lots of rhinestones all along the edges, nothing missing, um, a glass green um, uh, cabochon in the center, also a lot of rhinestones, um, cubic zirconias along the edges. I mean, they do beautiful rings for sure. They're just not sterling. This one is also an eight and a half. And um, I'm gonna say $10 on that one also. I mean, these are gorgeous, just not sterling. There is a tiny bit of discoloration on this prong. Um, gorgeous though. Okay, these match, obviously. They are clip-ons. They have a little bit of green goo on them and um, they just need to be cleaned. They are signed. They are Crown Trafari. Are those groovy? Okay, those are retro groovy. Um, let's see how the Trafari is done. Trafari is one of those companies that you can date so well with their signatures. Um, this could be pre-1968 art of those, I mean, those are cool. These look like moon rocks, um, faux pearls, um, like a goldstone effect to these. As I said, they are clip-on. They do need to be cleaned. I will wipe them down and I'm going to say... 18 on these. Those are ultra groovy. Love those. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this is. That's the front. Uh, that is adorable. It is marked 925. It's a little brooch. Um, the little brooch needs a little work. It's a little bent. Um, and it doesn't have a roller, um, so somebody has turned it into a C-clasp, um, which is workable, um, but those are stunning. Let's um, test this. Ooh. Looks sterling to me. Yeah, there's the blue. That is uh, yummy. Um, it is a turtle with little, uh, what color are those eyes? They're green also. I'm going to turn on our Persidium and test these stones just to be sure. They are a beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna put this one over to the side for a moment and then we'll come back and test that. These are so beautiful. These are done in glass. Um, Assessa Craft um, was a company that started in the mid uh, 30s and um, well-known, um, made jewelry all during World War II. Um, in the 60s, it became a really gothic company um, with um, imitation gold and bronze. Um, they had an amazing design, the way that they made their jewelry. Um, it, As I said, it's clip-on and screw-back. Um, well done. These are glass. Aren't they stunning? With each one wired to this frame, um, just really cool um, the way their pieces are done. This is almost, I would probably say, in the 60s because of that cool, groovy vibe to it. Love the green. Um, they went out of business in the late 90s, um, but these are just beauties. And on these, I'm gonna say, look at those, just so stunning. I'm gonna say $20 on these. I love these. What does that say on the side? It has a patent number on the side um, right there. 
and that's probably for the screw backs because it is on the um, screw back clip ons. So beautiful. Now these say made in Austria. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous too. These are faux pearl. However, one of the pearls, um, the uh, gray has come off of. They are Aurora Borealis. They are small little clip-ons. Aren't those stunners? Um, I don't even think that makes a difference. However, I mean, it is missing the coating. It needs to be recoded. They're in green and a gold tone. And since it is missing that little bit, I'm going to say let's just do $5 on these. And they're just glass. Yeah. But we want to just uh, be sure because um, they are stunners. So on these, and they are green, and as I said, silver, and they're 925. Um, on this one, I'm going to say um, let's do... $18. Ah, love that one. Okay, we have a necklace. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get it untangled. Okay, we have some missing rhinestones. Um, And it's a Bogoff. I have find so many um, Bogoff with missing rhinestones. Unfortunately, um, they were not prong set. They were glued in. And um, this is a beautiful rhinestone necklace. Bogoff was an amazing um, designer. Uh, look at that claw. Interesting. So it might have had a piece hanging from it, um, but it's not there. But since um, it is um, missing rhinestones, somebody could take these out and redo these. I did want to just show you the prices that Bogoff pieces do get. Anywhere from like 70 up to like 1500 for the scrap extravagant pieces. So even a hardware piece taking all the um, rhinestones out replacing the rhinestones uh, this piece alone just with the hardware is a great piece so i am going to say 18 dollars just for the signed um, bogov piece and if you replace the rhinestones you've got a, a major major piece and then we have this piece which is a beautiful so beautiful Joan Rivers. I believe this is a double uh, Russian double eagle um, crest. Um, it is enamel in the back, gold tone, good condition, pendant, no missing rhinestones. It is about two inches by about an inch and three eighths. And on this, um, I believe these run about $50 to $80 online. And I'm going to do uh, $25. Beautiful. All right. These are stunning. These are Dasham, I'm thinking. Yes. I think that's how you say it, Jashem, D-A-L-S-H-E-I-M. Um, beautiful, these are great designer. I don't find very many of these, um, like Trafari, Coro, I find those all the time. This is one of those brands I come across not that often. They were done extremely well. They did the filigree backs, and these are clip-ons stunning 50s on these i'm going to do 20 dollars. those are in excellent condition no missing rhinestones no um discoloration on the faux pearls let's see we have 
these beauties. These say Weiss. Oh my goodness, look at how great these are. These are patent pended. These have the rollers on the end that are supposed to make it super comfortable. Um, it's signed Weiss patent pending. They are riveted um, with the faux um, smoky topaz. Aren't those gorgeous? Okay, those are gorgeous. They are clip-ons. Look at these. Um, these are just beautiful. And on these beautiful Weiss, I'm going to do 25. Oh my goodness, these are just stunning and in excellent, excellent condition. Beauties. Now we have a bracelet. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, let's see if we have a name. Uh, we have a Coro. Um, let's see if we have all the rhinestones. Wow, we have all the rhinestones. Woohoo! It's a fold over clasp. Look at that. It is in an antiqued bronze look. It is, as I said, a fold over clasp. It is seven and uh, three eighths of an inch. That is stunning. And on this, I'm going to say, let's do um, $18. Now on these, does that say Van Dome? Yes, I love Van Dome. I think they were one of the best with the Aurora Borealis effect. Um, these are another pair of um, clip-ons. These are the ones that are screw backs. However, the screw back affects uh, this portion, not the whole thing, not this portion. Um, so beautifully done. Um, look at those trumpet um, uh, rhinestones. Just beautiful. Uh, these are another one that is just gorgeous. Beautifully done. And on these, I'm going to do um, $15 for the Van Drome. Vendrome. Vendome. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah, Vendome. Beautiful. And our last pair are these beauties. And these are um, Sterling Silver Sajin. Okay. Um, completely out of the norm. <laughs> How did these make it in here? Um, but I love these. Let's test these. Let me show them to you first. There you go. Aren't those beautiful? There's sterling silver. Here is the gem tester. I think these are aquamarine. Oops. Yeah, I believe these are aquamarine. Look at these. Aren't these stunners? There's the signature. S-A-J-E-N, Sajin, 925. I love these. And on these, I'm going to say, let's do uh, 35. For the aquamarine and they are as I said sterling silver and the drop on these are about five-eighths of an inch oh my gosh this has been gorgeous love these vintage styles hope you enjoyed this as much as I did if you saw something that interests you definitely send us an email to one shady y at gmail.com and we will see you on the next one. Bye.